Hi, I'm Mark Hugger and welcome to the Photographer Academy. And today we're talking about the Photoshop uh, 26.8 beta release uh, in May 2025. Um, predominantly, I've done a full kind of version of this on the Academy, uh, but just to kind of bring you up to speed on what I really love within the actual uh, beta release, no matter what. One of which is I can't wait for it to get into the full ver version is going to be what I think is going to be an exciting um, action palette, especially for photographers or the users of Photoshop who are going to want that kind of uh, plug and play in other words clicking onto things and being able to see the effects like you've been able to see in Lightroom or in in Camera Raw and obviously third party plugins and so on with it but um, let's uh, let's have a little look at uh, what I think is exciting so first things first of course make sure that you've uh, gone over to your creative cloud and uh, clicked onto your apps and then onto the beta section to make sure you're well up to date. It will show you if you need to update that. Uh, and then uh, once it's opened up, uh, basically you'll find uh, a couple of key things. One is the action palette. Let's talk about that first. Uh, and it is something that I'm quite excited about anyway. What you're seeing here is basically the options of uh, what is going to be new and uh, still you've got an option here to actually use any actions that you've already got installed by default. But these are technically kind of new things uh, including rollovers and previews as well. Okay, If I shut this one image down for uh, a couple of minutes, let's pick on a shot of Cuba or in Havana. And uh, basically, as soon as you kind of uh, release this, it will come up with some preview ideas for you based on the image. So it first of all shows you its strongest five. You can actually change it from the large text to the small text if that's what you prefer. Um, but uh, as far as here, you can kind of roll over the different uh, images. Some will take quite a while to um, kind of preview view because it's a bigger action. Uh, some of them are in instant and things. To see the other 10, because in fact you get 15 previews or related suggested actions, um, you can kind of run across the difference. And all, all you need to do to see the other actions that it's suggested for you is kind of just uh, go up next to based on the image. You'll see this little refresh button, click onto that and it will show you the next five. So uh, you can kind of go through these. Now, um, there are some negatives to do with it as far as they're not showing you the full action. If you want to kind of do the step by step, you'll have to set that up in the uh, options. Um, but as far as the kind of the use of the image is concerned, as far as how it's being used on the image, um, you can either use the rollovers here or you can actually click into the text box and basically type anything you want. If you just hit the space bar, it comes up with, in fact, hundreds or it feels like that anyway um, so it kind of creates um, different ones for you now you can see the preset rollover here it's giving you a visual in other words as long as the action or the preview action has got this little bit of a square to the side then you can uh, apply it and you can just roll over and it will actually show you the difference these when you kind of go over to that little square then um, you also get the three dots revealed and if you click on the three dots, you'll be able to see if you can apply it onto a subject or apply it onto the background or apply it to the whole image. So that's good to know that you don't have to actually do it to the whole image if that's what you want. If you're kind of um, opening up an image for uh, the first time, first of all, you'll kind of see that it as analyzing the image before it comes up with the five. So in other words, um, this image has a little bit of backlight, a little bit of haze. So if I just type in the word haze and hit the enter key, you should find that you're going to cut with options then that will help, help you uh, fix it. So decrease image haze instantly will increase the, con uh, the contrast. Um, some images are going to be much fuller in their action, so they're not going to give you the preview. Like you can see, Mysterious Fog Overlay here didn't have a square next to the name, which means that when we kind of roll over, it doesn't show you a preview at all. So you'd have to actually click on the action to make it apply it. 
and you can see it's going to come up with some uh, weird results for you as well. Depends on the kind of uh, um, click, but it's generative fill at this point, as you can see. Let me just uh, delete that and come back into the action palette. Remember, if your actions are not showing, just come up into your windows and tick on the actions here, but by default, they are open in the beta. Um, so have a little play around. I, I reckon because this is gonna come very soon, you should um, really start to have a, a bit of training each week, each month on the likes of the beta. Uh, I do feel that this action palette will come quickly to us because it really is um, a, a real step up. There's no way for us at present to add our own in um, to the ro uh, the rollover. But as I was showing you in the beginning, if I just click on the X at the top here and click it again, you do have the option next to suggested. You have all of your kind of uh, actions that still work in exactly the same way. Another thing I'm finding exciting to do with the uh, release is the much better uh, kind of selection and deletion of an image. You, uh, usually, if I wanted to remove this man from the bench, uh, basically um, the problem would be it fill it with something else. And you can go ahead and actually try it in the kind of the current version of Photoshop anyway. Um, but um, if we're using the cloud uh kind of option, you're going to get a much better result in here. So if we just kind of click up onto the object selection for a minute, we'll the down arrow at the top and click onto the cloud option. Remember, you can set that in your preferences as well. And then I'm going to click on to select subject. Um, I've found there already though, um, add in the likes of shadows into the image itself. And the reason being, uh, I've found that I get a cleaner result, okay? Um, so once that's done, then we can actually use what is the new remove option on the generative fill bar or contextual toolbar, sorry. Uh, and we just click on the remove. And as you can see, uh, once Photoshop does its job, it, it basically has filled in excellent uh, kind of results there. Um, and that's the I'm going to definitely pop back and forth with between the, the, the work in Photoshop and the beta. I've just found the beta crashing just a little bit, um, especially kind of with the action palette, but it's still worth to kind of really uh, persevere with it. So the remove tool itself has got a much better uh, upgrade as it were. So if we kind of just click onto an image here and we just kind of come across uh, to the kind of image that we want to get rid of some things perhaps, select in the remove tool and then all you've got to do, I've just selected a brush that is just a bit bigger so I can swipe it, wipe across it, leave AI do its job. And in previous versions, it would have tried to fill it with things. Now it's an empty area filled with what it feels like is the background with it. And you could kind of go across the whole kind of image doing the same thing. So it's just swiping across an area and it's going to get rid of it for you, allow Photoshop AI to do its job. So I think this release is not just for the geeks. Um, I think it is something that you're going to want to actually play around with to put it in to your workflow. Uh, if it's not now with the beta model, it'll be eventually when it's released into the full Photoshop. But the action palette and the remove tool absolutely doing its job for us uh, and have a little play.